close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go It's your girl Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on today's video and I am so excited to get everything on my list accomplished today and take you guys along with me so that you can see what I do on like a typical day here at home. And I have a lot of cleaning lists a lot on my cleaning list today and I have a couple of other random things like wrapping Christmas gifts and just kind of getting some stuff out that I ordered out of the boxes because they're blocking my hallway right now and it's an absolute mess and I just want to make sure that I get everything done on my list it's going to be a really busy day today so I'm also going to be doing a crock pot meal for you keto of course and I am so excited to show you guys everything that we're going to be doing so I hope that y'all would continue on watching this video and I hope that you would consider giving it a thumbs up if you like what you see today as well as hitting that subscribe button if you're not already and first things first so recently I've really been loving to start my day off with uh, essential oils and today I'm just using Valor from Young Living and no I'm not a rep but I just love this scent so much it's really uplifting and it gives me a lot of motivation to get my day started all right so I have this list here of all the things that I would like to get done today and so I'm going to start off by prepping some some ribs in the slow cooker for tonight and this is a keto recipe that I found on Pinterest and I'll have that linked for you guys. And then I'm going to get some laundry going and then I'll just work my way through this stuff. I'll probably unbox the Costco stuff next. But I like to always start off with the thing that I know is gonna take the longest. So like obviously slow, um, anything on the slow cooker is going to take a few hours at least. So I'm gonna put that in first thing. And the time right now is 10.30 a.m. So I've got a little while before I've gotta take a break for our afternoon appointment. And baby just went down for a nap. So we are good to go. So I'm going to be using these a fresh pork country style ribs that I had in my deep freezer So I'm going to defrost those really quickly and then the recipe that I'm going to be using is from this Blog I found this on Pinterest So it's just low carb slow cooker barbecue ribs and I'm just gonna make the sauce really quick here are the ingredients and Then I'll just put this in the slow cooker and leave it and it'll be good to go so I really like to make sure that I get started off with a load of laundry right away in the beginning of the day. I just find that this helps me stay on track of laundry. And the next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and tackle this huge Costco order that I had ordered a few days ago. I really love that Costco delivers to my house because I live about an hour and a half away from the nearest Costco and it's just really great to not have to go into Costco and get these huge bulk items that I need for my house with two small kids. So I'm super appreciative for the fact that they deliver deliver to my house. And the next thing that we're gonna do is get started on this crock pot recipe for you guys. And it is keto friendly and sugar free. I'm just gonna use the Stubbs barbecue sauce as my base. And I'll have all of these ingredients linked down below for you guys. We're gonna use some Swerve granular sugar replacement and some apple cider vinegar. And again, I'll have this entire recipe listed down below in the description box for you guys. And it's super easy and it is so good, it's so quick and easy. But that's the next thing that I'm gonna do to get started with today's list.
So I'm about to clean the bathrooms and get that all started, but I did get this package from Grove and that is where I get all of my natural cleaning products from. It is a, you purchase the, the subscription, you get a ton of free products the first time you sign up, which is what hooked me and they use all natural like, 100% like good for the environment and good for those who have children and just want like more natural based cleaning products for their home. They offer that and the shipping is really fast and easy and I just love ordering from this company. It's been about a year now since I've been getting cleaning products from them so I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up today. So I'm actually really obsessed with the Grove Collaborative Company. I've, like I've said, I've been using them for oh, about a year now and I'm just obsessed. So I did pick up some more apple cider vinegar from them. I also picked up an essential oil room refresher, which I think smells really good. This is the wintergreen scent and I'll have it linked below if I can find it. I also picked up a few essentials, just some dish soap, some Mrs. Meyers uh, antibacterial sprays, as well as a couple of hand soaps. So just picked up the essentials. Make sure that you guys check out my link below so that you can get a couple dollars off of your next order if you're interested. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up. I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the list now. So we bought this couch last year and I love the couch but honestly the cushions are so thin it literally sags down like this all the time and I'm constantly having to refluff the cushions so that's one thing that I don't particularly like about this couch and you know maybe one day we'll be able to invest in like a nicer fuller couch but for now this is what we have and I did get this couch on Wayfair and it was a really great price so I'm not complaining but just saying that that is one of the downsides of buying an inexpensive couch on Wayfair so I'm really loving the Christmas decor that I put up in my living room and I didn't actually get a chance to show this to you guys so I'm excited you're seeing it now. All right, so I've got a few more things on my list to do, but obviously it's really late in the day. It's about four o'clock right now and I've gotta go and get my daughter from preschool. And I still have several things on my list that I didn't necessarily get done, but say la vie because we had um, marriage counseling this afternoon and there was just like a lot of stuff going on. So I didn't get back until later. So yeah and baby woke up. So it's really hard to get things done when the baby's awake. Like, I'm gonna try and wear him for a little bit, but I'm gonna have to leave now and get my daughter. So I don't know how much I'll get done when I have both of them at home, but I'll definitely show you guys how my dinner turns out. So stay tuned and I'll see what all I can get done. Because yeah, life's crazy with two. So recently I've been trying to get more intentional about putting laundry away as soon as it comes out of the dryer because let's be honest, it takes about five to seven business days after washing clothes to thoroughly put everything back where it belongs, hang everything up, fold everything, and it literally just drives me bonkers because we just hoard our clean laundry in different baskets and in different places in our house. So I've trying really hard to be super intentional about putting clothes away, like, you know, maybe the same day or the next day after they come out of the dryer. And recently I have been making it a point to remake my toddler's bed every day because she kind of just hops out of bed and does her own thing and she doesn't really have like a full out bedspread just yet. So we've been trying to learn to make our beds every day and put all our dollies back on our bed. It just makes her really happy to have like a comfortable sleep space where we're not throwing it together at the end of the night. And I know that Christmas passed already, but I just had a few gifts that I needed to finish wrapping up. So you guys will see me doing that here. This was actually filmed just a day or so before Christmas. So that's why you're seeing that now. And honestly, I, I like wrapping gifts. I'm not as good as my mom. I aspire to one day be like a professional grift wrapper like her. So 
So I found this mashed cauliflower in the frozen food section at Trader Joe's and that's what I'm going to be pairing my crock pot ribs with. And these actually turned out really good. The only thing I would suggest is to not add as much liquid as they suggest on the packaging because it did make it a little runny. But I just paired off the ribs with some broccoli and some of that cauliflower and it was actually really good you guys. All right guys, so obviously I didn't get everything on my checklist done, but this is just a real life, what happens in a day for me, and sometimes I make goals for myself and I don't accomplish all of them, but it's okay because He's throwing dollar bills on me because dollar knows, bills. What are you talking about? Those are tens and twenties. Tens and twenties. He's throwing tens and twenties on me because he knows that I'm expensive. I'm expensive. Anyways, um, yeah. So the whole reason why I make lists is just so that I kind of stay on track for the day. But not everything gets accomplished on those lists, and so. I just wanted to show that to you guys and I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here so I hope that y'all like this if you did make sure that you give it a thumbs up and if you're not already I hope that you would consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye can you pick my money up <laughs> yes pick that money up bye 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 Mine? 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 Seriously? Why so serious? <laughs>